Hello guys and welcome. In this tutorial I will show you how to solve the Jindos puzzle in uh, Mission 6, the Dust District. Which is right here. When you enter the Neutral territory, there will be right away under the doorway. There is a room right here. You just collect it. Always nice to have. So, and now for this guy, once you go here, you have two options. You can go to the right over here and solve the Jinder's puzzle, earning the Orika achievement, or you can get the code by following the story and going to the left path. But in this one, I will just show you how you can solve sister says you can beat the puzzle in the city. I'm not sure why Stilton's house. So when you reach this uh, point over here, never mind. Maybe another time. There will be like or two not. civilians. Let's so go. We can't solve the puzzle. Came to see the infamous Jindosh lock, did the you? Jindosh lock, Good luck right. with that. Blame impossible. Dice. You in? It's very sure. much possible, Don't worry. So you have actually two <sighs> options. You can go just right away and solve it. Nah, not this time. Uh, and you can uh, use the shortcut to go to the mansion beyond that. Or you can just follow the the mission, and you will get a code by just uh, following the story. But um, I will show you how you can solve it. This door was sealed by order of the Duke. He had that Kiri Jindosh build a special lock. If you're trying to get into Stilton's, give up. Probably nothing left to steal anyway. So we have to reach uh, Stilton's mansion, which is beyond that lock. And um, yeah, guys, don't worry. Uh, if you have problems solving this one, there is also a cheating way. You could just go uh, right away and uh, do a save uh, file, a manual save file on your game. By the way, this is the PC version. Um, I believe it will also work uh, with the console versions but you can do a manual save file um, then you can proceed with the mission get the code from the mission write it down and then you just reload your save file and go to the door input the code and you're basically done you can skip it but why doing all that work if you can figure it out yourself so what is uh, this riddle all about Basically, it's not that hard. It's um, you have to align five names and five items. Problem is um, from left to right. It's it's a row. Uh, it's like a riddle, a very nice riddle. Um, there are like uh, five women, uh, which are called Marcola, Finch, Natsu, Mar Marcola, or wait a second, no, what is that other name? Not Winslow. Conti, yes, Conti. So Marcola, Finch, Natsu, Conti, and Winslow, um, and they all have a um, an item. The problem is you don't know in which order they sit on the table and what item uh, they have, and you have to deduct it from this uh, riddle over here. No, oh, I think the sandstorm is coming. And for everyone, uh, it's different. There is a sense of What an awesome game this is. I really enjoy it. I really enjoy this game. On the PC, you will need a very strong PC to run it. But uh, if you get it to run, I, I like it so much. It's definitely one of the, the better games this year. And yeah, back to the riddle, as I mentioned before, um, the thing is with Arcane Games, they uh, designed this riddle, so every time you um, load up the level, be it on PC, be it on console, that doesn't matter, uh, it will be different for, um, for everyone. Mainly, the names will switch. The names will switch, and also the items will switch and the color of their dresses and uh, where they are from and so on. I will show you uh, my riddle. 
which goes like this, the Jindosh Riddle. And here you can see it. Probably um, in your game, um, the names will be the same. Uh, Winslow, Marcola, Conti, Nazio and uh, Finch but um, their location will switch, their items will switch and so for example uh, it says right here Conti wear a jaunty green hat maybe in your um, game it will say Conti wore a jaunty red hat for example or Lady Winslow was at the far left, maybe in your game it's like Finch was, Lady Finch was at the far left. So the names and the um, places, it, they, it will switch. But don't worry, if you follow this tutorial, um, I will show you a sure way how to logically deduct uh, and solve the puzzle. And yeah guys, um, I will switch now to uh, Adobe Photoshop where I draw a 5x5 grid and I will go through the process with you uh, and explain to you how this riddle works so that you are also able to solve it on your own and also you will enjoy it very much like I did um, um, I be a big shout out to one of, of a youtuber out there I think his name is Professor Butts um, he inspired me to do this video uh, because I had a little bit of problems solving this puzzle on my own and his video um, he used the method by drawing a 5x5 five five grid and the similar um, method I will use as well uh, and I will explain how to solve this riddle and yes Professor Butts thank you very much for your helpful video um, it's very nice to see other great YouTubers, uh, not such a great, uh, not great channel, not such a big channel, but very, very helpful guys. So um, it's very nice to see that the most helpful guys actually uh, have smaller YouTube channels. And so thank you very much, Professor Butts. A big shout out to you. I will um, put your channel into the description. And yes, I will switch now to Adobe Photoshop and explain to you how you can solve this puzzle easily. Okay, so stick with me. Okay guys, so now here I am in uh, Photoshop. Um, I laid out the puzzle here in the middle and um, basically what you have to do is um, get a piece of paper and a pencil and draw yourself a 5x5 five five grid. Uh, this is very helpful because um, this this will help you to order all the names, all the dresses, uh, all the drinks and um, um, last but not least the items so you can solve this puzzle. Um, also take notes from the from the li uh, from the riddle. I took my notes over here on the left. I will go with you through the process. Um, it will be a little bit uh, difficult to understand at first but once you take your time and read the text carefully you can actually deduct that we are looking for um, five names which we will uh, write down here in the first column then in the second column we will um, write down the dresses uh, all those uh, five women wear I have here some cute um, Sailor Moon chibi um, icons so it's easier to you uh, for you to follow me um, basically all those five women wear five different colored dresses and so you have to uh, but you of course you don't know the order so we will align them over here then in the third column um, we will put uh, the drinks so in this text over here uh, we also have to find out what kind of drink every one of those uh, women are drinking so beer, whiskey, wine, rum or absinthe we will arrange them over here and then in the fourth column uh, we will have to find out where they are from like uh, from Karanaka, Balaton, Dobovka, Freeport or Dunwell we'll arrange it over here in this column and in the last one we will determine what uh, item um, everyone is is wearing 
So, um, for example, as you can see, it's very, very helpful to um, to do a grid, a, a five by five grid. This is the uh, also the same method uh, Professor Butts was using, and I think uh, this is a very good and helpful way on solving this puzzle. So my first advice is um, re read your riddle carefully. You can compare it with my version, of course, and just replace um, replace your um, names with mine, and you will solve it. Solve it. Don't worry if you are getting confused at first because I was really confused. Uh, it's just important that you write down your notes on a piece of paper. You draw that five by five grid, and you align uh, everything according to it. Okay. So, in this case, let's just start away. Um, and have a look at my riddle, which says like this. Um, at the dinner party, we have Lady Winslow, Dr. Marcola, Countess Conti, uh, Madame Natsu, and Baroness Finch. So basically, those five women um, are, I put them, they are wearing a different kind of clothes. Uh, one has a red dress, the other one has a white dress, the other one is green, the other one blue, and the last one purple. But the problem is we don't know in which order they sit on on um, on the table. All we know so far is they are sitting in um, in a row. They're sitting in a row. Um, and from left to right. That we know for sure, but we don't know the order. So I put uh, on here those uh, Chibi Sailor Moon figures because I figured it's easier for you um, to see what is everyone wearing. Like for example here Sailor uh, Mars I think. She's always having the red dress. Sailor Moon has the white one. Uh, Sailor Jupiter, the green one, um, Sailor Mercury, the blue one, of course, and this one, I, I don't even know what, what was that one, the purple, the purple one was, um, I think, Saturn, yeah, it could be Saturn, yeah, it's it's Saturn, right, It's it's been such a long time since I, I watched it, I can't remember really, okay, so we have those five women, they're wearing um, five different colored dresses, and my text goes like this, uh, the women sat in a row, all right? I, I did um, draw the grid over here. So they are sitting in a row uh, from one to five, from left to right, okay? The women sat in a row. They all wore different colors and different colors, like you can see here. Um, and Countess Conti wore a jaunty green hat. So the first thing you want to write down is what kind of dress the Conti wears. Maybe in your riddle it's, it's like s someone else. But in my case it says um, the Countess Conti wore a jaunty green hat. So you write down Conti wears green. So we, we know for sure that, um, that Conti wears green, uh, which means Conti is uh, actually, in this case, uh, her name. So Sailor Jupiter is Conti because she wears green. Okay, then you write it down. Then what else do we got? Uh, Lady Winslow was at the far left next to the guest wearing the red jacket. From this one we can uh, assume that Winslow sits at the far left uh, next to the, to the woman wearing red. So this means Winslow, in our case, um, sits at the far left, which is position 1 um, in the column over here. So that one we know for sure, that's a fact. Alright, and she sits next to the uh, lady wearing uh, a red jacket. Uh, next one is the lady in white set left to someone in blue, which means the lady in white in our case is Sailor Moon. She sits next to the lady in blue, which is Sailor Mercury. So those two sit together. Um, we write it down. White sits left to blue. And to also, white is drinking rum. Um, 
the lady in white said left to someone in blue. I remember that white outfit because the woman spilled her rum all over it. So from this one we know that Sailor Moon is in white of course and she is drinking uh, rum and she spills her rum all over her uh, dress or skirt whatever. So uh, then we know for a fact that white is drinking um, that white is drinking rum. Of course we don't know her name. Uh, because we only know she wears white, but we don't know if it's one of these names over here. But we will find out, don't worry. Um, right now only that you understand how uh, how to work with this text and how to dissect every color, every drink, every name and so on. So the lame white said left over in some blue, remember the white outfit because the woman spilled her rum all over it. Next is the traveler from uh, Dobovka was dressed entirely in purple. So from this one we can deduct that purple is from Dobovka and also sits next to tin box wearer. Um, so basically uh, the purple wearer, the woman with the purple dress, which in our case is Sailor Saturn, or I believe, yes. I could be wrong. Um, she's sitting next to the one who has the who has the tin box. We will write down um, the women from Dobovka wears purple and sits next to the uh, women or lady who has the tin box. How do I know that? Because um, it says right here. I remember, uh, no, the traveler from Dobovka was dressed entirely in purple. When one of the dinner guests bragged about her snuff tin, the woman next to her said they were finer in Dobovka where she lived. So um, we, we can assume that um, we can assume that uh, the woman from Dobovka um, sits next to the uh, one who has the tin box or is it called snuff tin, right? Okay, then we we have um, made all our take your notes like I did over here from this first paragraph over here and then we go farther. Now it will get a little bit more confusing but um, stick to the text and try to imagine or try to find out how this one works. So next one is so Baroness Finch showed off her prized diamond. Um, from this one we can tell that Finch has the diamond. So Lady Finch or Baroness Finch has the diamond in her possession. That's a fact. Write it down. In your case it could be like uh, Dr. Marcola has the diamond. Just important to write down uh, which person has which item. At which the lady from Karnaka scoffed saying it was no match for her bird pendant. So then we, we can uh, assume or say that, lady, that the lady from Karnaka, we don't know her name, has the bird pendant. Right? So someone uh, else carried a valuable ring and when she saw it, uh, so an unknown person uh, wears a ring or has the ring uh, in the ring over here, and unknown, we, we don't know her, her who, who she is, could be one of those five women over here. Um, someone else carried a valuable ring and when she saw it, the visitor from Dunwell next to her, um, so uh, the lady wearing the ring, um, right next to her sits another lady, we don't know her name, and she, uh, but we know that she is from Dunwell. Um, next to her, yes, s s almost spilled her neighbor's whiskey. So there is the ring owner. Then next to her is a visitor from, or the one from Dunwell. And next to the one from Dunwell is uh, another lady and uh, she almost spilled her whiskey. So what can we say about that? We know for sure an unknown person wears a ring, 
uh, right next to her sits another unknown person which is from Dunwell and the person next to the one which is from Dunwell drinks whiskey. So write it all down, unknown ring owner, next to, to it is an unknown person uh, from Dunwell and the person next to her is drinking whiskey. So we have three clues uh, of, about what's going on. Um, Whiskey. All right, Dr. Marcola raised her absinthe in toast. From this one, we can uh, say easily Marcola is drinking absinthe um, in a toast, right? The lady from Freeport, full of wine, jumped up onto the table. So uh, we know for sh for a fact uh, it's we don't know how she's called, but the one from Freeport is drinking wine. We don't know her name. Or what color she's wearing, but we know that she's from Freeport and that she is drinking wine. So, full of wine, jumped up onto the table, falling onto the guest in the center seat, spilling the poor woman's beer. So here is another very important uh, hint you will get. Um, just imagine the lady from Freeport, full of wine, jumped up onto the table, falling onto the guest in the center seat. When you read this over here, center seat. You already know it's uh, position number three. So what do we know? Uh, the lady in um, uh, in the middle seat or in position number three is drinking beer. So we al already know that um, uh, uh, Countess or no Winslow is at the far left here, and that the middle person is drinking beer because she spills her beer after the lady from Freeport, full of wine, jumps onto the table. Again, um, in your riddle, it could be different. It could be the the names could be different. Uh, just look out for the center seat. Who is drinking what in the center seat? Okay. And last but not least, then Madame Natsur uh, captivated them all with a story about her wild youth in uh, Balaton. From this one, we can deduct easily that Madame Natsur is from Balaton. This is the last hint I wrote down. And this is about uh, it. Uh, take your time, write it down for you. Write down the notes as I did uh, here on the left. It's very important that you keep track on uh, who is wearing what. Um, just write it down in a manner I did over here. So, the first clue we have in the text. Um, it says right here. Um, Lady Winslow was at the far left next to the guest wearing a red jacket. So from this information over here we know Lady Winslow is the name over here. Let's take her name. There she is, Lady Winslow. So we take her name and you write it down into the very first uh, column over here. So we know for a fact Lady Winslow is sitting uh, at the far left, which is position number one, uh, next to the guest wearing a red jacket. So the guest wearing a red jacket, in our case, is Sailor uh, Mars. So it's a lady, we don't know her name, we don't know where she's from. All we know is it's a lady and she's wearing red. So write down red into the second... Um, into the second uh, column. Let's see, we can select her. We can select her. You don't have to do this with icons, but I figured it, it's much more enjoyable and uh, funnier to do it with uh, Sailor Moon chibi images. <laughs> I, it, was, it would be uh, also funnier to do it with uh, <laughs> Reservoir Dogs character, you know, like uh, Mr. Brown, Mr. Pink, and so on, but we are talking about ladies over here so uh, right so uh, lady winslow is in the first row um the second one wears red and um, the last uh, indication we have is uh, here in the center seat we know for a fact that the the woman was uh, drinking beer so we take the beer and we put it down here. So what do we know so far? We know that Lady Winslow 
is sitting to the far left on position one um, next to uh, the lady wearing a red dress and uh, on in the middle or position three is, is sitting uh, a lady which uh, spilled her beer over her dress so we know for a fact she's drinking beer okay so next we know um, that the lady in white uh, is drinking um, rum and is sitting next to the one in blue so we can easily tell that the lady in white in our case uh, is just a color it represents sailor moon is sitting next to the one wearing blue which in our case is Sailor Mercury. So those two sit uh, together and the lady in white uh, is drinking uh, rum because it says in the text, I remember that white outfit because the woman spilled her rum all over it. So we know that um, the lady in white, Sailor Moon, she's sitting in the fourth, on the fourth row And of course, clumsy as she is, she spilled her rum. So we know she is drinking rum. So she spilled her rum over here. So we know what drinks she is having. And another hint we got is she is sitting right next to the um, to the visitor wearing blue. So blue is in our case Sailor Mercury. There she is, blue. So now we know for a fact that uh, there are only two seats left where we can fill in the green lady and the purple lady and also we will uh, find out where they are from and what their names are. So from here we can easily tell um, that um, Conti is, must be green because she can't fit anywhere else because Winslow we don't have uh, her location or what dress she's wearing and we know for a fact that Conti wears green. Uh, here to the left, that was the first hint I got. So um, let's select Conti, that's her name, and put it into the middle row. And then we also know that she wears green. So it's uh, Sailor Jupiter over here. Right. Uh, which uh, which we, we now know that she was the one who spilled her beer after uh, the lady from Freeport full of wine jumped onto the table. So Conti uh, aka Sailor Jupiter spilled her beer so now we know that and now we can easily tell that the fifth uh, uh, lady in our row must be um, Sailor Saturn or the one in purple because she uh, it's the only seat left then we select her and put her onto the first seat and what do we know about uh, the lady in purple or Sailor Saturn yeah we know for a fact that the lady from purple is from the Bovka and also six seats next to the tin box wearer. So um, Sailor Saturn or uh, is called Winslow in this case and she's definitely from Dobovka. So we select Dobovka. Uh, it's right down here and uh, that's her location. So that's what we know about her. Let's put it here in the middle. So Winslow wears purple and is from Dobovka and sits next to the one uh, which has the, the snuff tin box. 
So now that we have aligned all five colors in that um, row over here, we need to find out what everyone is drinking and their location and what everyone is uh, what kind of item they have in their possession so this next part will get a little bit more trickier and you have to uh, read your text very carefully because it will be different from mine over here um, and also try to to imagine how uh, things look and then you will be able to solve it but anyway the next hint we have is right over here um, we know that purple is from Dobovka which we wrote down here and also sits next to the tin box wearer um, the lady next to Winslow is we don't know her name she's uh, wearing red and uh, we know for a fact that she has the tin box or the snuff tin so we select the box and we put it down here so now we know that uh, the woman in red sitting next to Winslow is wearing uh, is having the snuff tin because it says here when one of the diner guests bragged about her snuff tin the woman next to her said they were finer in Dobovka where she lived so uh, the woman in red showed off her snuff tin and Winslow, which is from Dolovka, or who is from Dolovka, said they were better in Dolovka. Okay, so now from this point on it will get a little bit more confusing, but once you think about it and wrap your head around it, uh, you will understand it. So the next, um, the next hint we have actually is um, we can kind of tell that uh, Winslow or Sailor Saturn must have uh, in our case the ring how do I know that she has the ring in her possession because it's simple we just eliminate the other options so why does she have the ring because she can't have the box because the box is or the snuff tin because the snuff tin is owned by the woman next to her so that leaves one uh, uh, goes out then Finch has the diamond so we know one of the uh, women over here is called Finch and she has the diamond so she can't Winslow can't have the diamond because Finch has the diamond and also she can't have uh, the bird pendant because a lady from Karnaka has the bird pendant and Winslow is obviously from um, Dobovka which only leaves us with the medal or the ring and we don't have any other information about the medal uh, other than, than let's see no, we don't have any information about the medal at all so she must have the ring and what do we know about the ring uh, when s someone else carried a valuable ring so that's an unknown name it could be Winslow it is actually Winslow and when she saw it the visitor from Dunwell next to her almost spilled her neighbor's whiskey so from this one we can easily tell that um, when if Winslow wear, uh, wears the ring which she does we select the ring over here so if she's having the ring then someone else carried a variable ring let's just say Winslow carried a variable ring and when she saw it the visitor from Dunwell next to her who is the one next to her it's uh, the one in red sailor uh, Mars is from Dunwell so we know for sure that uh, she is from Dunwell so the woman in red is from Dunwell we don't know her name still um, yeah what else do we know uh, the visitor from Dunwell next to her there she is um, almost spilled her neighbor's whiskey look at that neighbor's whiskey um, Conti is drinking beer because she spilled her beer after uh, the woman in white got so excited jumped onto the table and since she's having beer 
we know for a fact that Winslow must be drinking whiskey, which she is. There is the whiskey. We have the first um, column over here filled out for Winslow. And now we can go on. So this is basically uh, the hardest part. You have to, to uh, find out what uh, item wins the first one um, wears and when you find this out you can easily fit in everything else so now we know that at position number one um, the woman is called Winslow she wears purple she drinks whiskey she's from Dobovka and she has the ring so this one the first answer is actually Winslow and the ring so next we can tell that um, the one wearing blue is drinking wine and is from Freeport uh, because um, she can't be she can't be uh, the one in red because that one is from Dunwell and we know that the one drinking wine uh, is from Freeport it, it says right here the lady from Freeport full of wine so we select the wine and we select free port down here okay so now if we have a look at the grid we can easily tell that the last drink we have must be absinthe and then we easily deduct that who is drinking absinthe it's of course marcola it says there Mar marcola is drinking absinthe um, then we know that the second column is Marcola and that she's having absinthe. And then we actually have um, the second column filled out. It's of course Marcola. And uh, there she is, Marcola. Now we almost got this one solved. So now we can easily tell that uh, position number four must be Natsu because um, Natsu is from Bailton, so she can't be number five because number five is from Freeport, and she can also can't be uh, number three because number three is called Conti, so number four is actually or Sailor Moon is actually Natsu and she's from Bailton. And so we select that. There she is, Natsu. And her location is Bailton. So she's from Bailton. This only leaves one location left, and this location is Karnaka. And we know now that uh, Conti is from Karnaka because this is the only location uh, left free. And so we put Karnaka in there, okay, right here. And what do we know about Karnaka? We know for a fact that the lady from Karnaka has the bird. So Conti uh, is from Karnaka, so she has the bird pendant. We select the bird and write down the bird. And now we know for sure that the lady in blue, Sailor Mercury, must be Finch because she can't be Natsio and everyone else we have filled out. So she is Finch. And what do we know about Finch? We know that she has the diamond. So Finch has the diamond, which leaves us with Natsio having the medal. And that's about it. We have solved this puzzle. So here's the diamond and the last one is the medal. There it goes. And with that we have solved this puzzle. Since we now have uh, filled out all the information we need to know and now we know for sure that in this case Winslow wears a ring Marcola has the snuff tin or the box, Conti wears the bird pendant, 
Natsu wears the medal and Finch has the diamond. So yes guys, with this we solved this puzzle or riddle. Um, have in mind that um, for every one of you who is trying to solve this, uh, the Jindosh riddle will be a little bit more different. Um, therefore, the names are switched, the locations are switched, the items are switched, everything is switched. So, but uh, the way you solve this remains the same. So I advise you, um, uh, you just have to follow the way I did it by drawing a 5x5 grid and taking uh, notes and you will also solve it. I'm very sure of it. Uh, it took me like two hours until I wrapped my head around it and also again a big shout out to uh, Professor Butts and his video which helped me out a lot to understand this riddle and once you read the text carefully and compare the method of the grid with uh, your riddle I'm sure you can solve this one easily on your own. So now that I have the solution to the riddle let's go back to the game input the code and continue with the game. So now I'm back in the game and now that I have the answer I can input it into the door. Again uh, you can also make a hard save right in front of this door and then continue with the mission, get the code, reload your save file and input the, the answer. But since I helped you out solve it, I will show you how you can unlock it. You will also get the Eureka achievement by first doing so. So my solution was Winslow and she was wearing the ring. So we select Winslow and Ring. Uh, the second one was Marcola, and she was having the tin box. Here it is. And uh, the third one was Conti, and she has the bird pendant. There it is. And the fourth one was Natsu, and she was having the medal. There it is, war medal. And the fifth one was Finch. And Finch had the diamond. There you go. I did it. Now to find Aramis Stilton. So guys, you can now go directly to Stilton's manor or stay at the dust district. Let's go to him. And you finish the mission just like that by solving the puzzle. So um, you can also do it very quick by using the cheating method or uh, I, as I helped you out solving this puzzle. Uh, as you can see no lethally, no stealth, just uh, solving the, by solving the puzzle you can complete this mission. Um, okay guys, so I hope uh, I could help you out solving your own puzzle as I mentioned before. Don't worry so much about uh, about uh, uh, the stuff, or, or don't don't get confused if your riddle is different than mine. Uh, it's basically the same. If you follow the path or, or logic deduction I did, uh, you will also solve it easily. Um, if not, take your time, write down the grid, write down the notes, and just follow this uh, guide, and you will be able to solve it. I promise. And yes, thank you very much for watching, um, you can check out my channel if you want to also check out Professor Bud's channel, he, he was a big inspiration for doing this video and I hope you enjoyed this one and everyone take care, bye bye.